following their win over Flixton on Saturday, the Reds will be looking to record their first league win of the season as they take on St Helens Town, themselves struggling recently with only five points picked up out of the last 36. The Reds make only one change from Saturday's lineup, with Anthony Brown being replaced at centre back by new signing Adam Farley, and though Josh Malloy is available again, Dennis Barlow keeps his place in goal. St Helens Town, meanwhile, have former Reds striker Andy Olsen up front for them. And it'll be the Reds to kick off this match with the win behind them. And Stephen Williams looks to take advantage of that as he goes for goal straight from the kickoff. But though he gets the accuracy, the ball drops comfortably into the arms of Dale Newbrook. Torpen with the throw and finds Nethercoat. He holds off the challenge of Curry. Then looks to go for the far corner. And he's denied at full stretch by Newbrook with the game barely a minute old. Nethercote instinctively knew where the goal was and he was only denied by a fine save from Dale Newbrook. Ty Hogan finds Netherbrook on the byline and flicks it back looking for Williams, doesn't reach him, but it drops for Barry. Instant snapshot straight at Newbrook and St. Helens Town are living dangerously in these opening minutes. Richards could bring the ball into the St. Helens half. He finds Jones who lays it off to Williams who in turn brings Ty Hogan into the play. He looks up, delivers a cross towards the back of the area looking for Barry. He doesn't reach him. Richards charges down the clearance. It's going to drop for Barry. He gets a shot away but it's straight at Newbrook. And St Helens Town have their keeper to thank for keeping the scores level at this stage of the game. Nethercote with a back heel that doesn't quite find Barry. The Torpy will pick up the ball. And he rolls it down the line and he does find Barry. Goes back to Torpy. He knocks it inside to Nethercote. He turns, pushes aside the challenge of Addison. Shoots. Newbrook with a one handed save, palms it away. Liam Nethercote twice denied in this match by fine saves from Dale Newbrook. Hansard finds Ledger who gives it back to Hansard. He knocks it into the area where it's going to land onto the head of Olsen, but it's straight into the arms of Barlow. And with only 40 minutes gone, that's St. Helens Town first attempt on goal. Torpy finds Barry. And Torpy puts a first time cross into the box. It's headed clear, but only to Williams on the D, where he's brought down. It's a free kick to AFC Liverpool in a dangerous position. Williams is there, Jones is there, it'll be Williams to take it, he gets it round the wall, beyond the reach of Newbrook, into the corner, and AFC Liverpool finally have the lead, which their dominance deserves. Stephen Williams wearing the captain's armband, leading by example with a fine strike to claim his second goal of the season. Picton lays it off to Nethercote. Ball across the pitch, finds Richards, a little bit of loose control. Hansard gets a foot in, but the Reds retain possession as Ty Houghton keeps the ball in play. Jones back to Richards. He comes inside to Williams, who's got some space opening up in front of him. He shoots, but he drags it wide. Hansard looks to find Ledger but Picton gets a foot in though St Helens Town will win a corner as Quirk's lash comes last off Picton. Quirk with the delivery towards the back stick where Burns comes in over Farley and heads his team level three minutes into this second half. And that was the problem, having completely dominated the first half, the Reds only scored one goal, meaning there was always a chance that St. Helens could get back into the match, and they've duly taken it. Ty Hogan looks to deliver the free kick into the...
the box it's held up in the wind slightly and cleared Olsen flicks it on ledges in behind the Reds defence chance for St Helens to make it 2-1 but he puts it over chance wasted and AFC Liverpool will let off the hook there how costly that miss will be only time will tell Jones with the delivery and it's headed behind for another corner to AFC Liverpool and Stephen Jones is asking the question why did nobody attack that ball in the six yard box straight in front of goal this time it's gone short to Ty Hogan who's crossing to the box finds Picton his volley is blocked Picton will get another chance but this shot is tamed it's straight at Newbrook Curry with a long throw in Headed by Torpy, drops straight to Addison. He finds Berry on the edge of the centre circle and he's fouled by Ty Hogan. Free kick to St. Helens Town. Quirk goes for goal from distance with the win behind him. And Barlow's taken no chances and turns that over. and he can bring it forward. Plays it down the line instead to Clark. Inside to Berry who gives Clark the return. In behind Ty Hogan. He squares it for Addison but he doesn't get anything behind it. And that's a wasted opportunity for St. Helens. Corey finds Clark with Torpy's covering though he has to concede the corner. Quirk with the delivery into the six yard box, it's over Barlow and Smith should have done a lot better than that. Barlow completely lost the ball and had Ian Smith kept his header down, surely St Helens would be 2-1 up now. Richards to Ty Hogan, back inside to Richards and he's got some space in front of him, chooses instead to lay it off to Stephen Jones who lines himself up for the shot and he has Newbrook scrambling across his goal. AFC Liverpool half with the wind against him. Furlong comes in, concedes a soft foul, it's a free kick to St. Helens Town. Thompson takes it quickly and finds Quirk in space on the right hand side. He comes in, gives it to Fraser, who gives it back to Quirk. He's got time to put his cross into the box towards the six yard box where Orson rises ahead of Barlow to give St. Helens Town the lead with five minutes remaining. And isn't that just typical of football that a player scores against his former club? And the watching Reds fans will know how dangerous Andy Olsen is in the air. And so he's proved it once again. Torpy looks for Furlong. It rolls on to Jones. He lays it to the path of Buckley, who squares it for Corris, who brings AFC Liverpool level in injury time to salvage a point. And it's nothing less than they deserve. Had they lost this game, it would have been a travesty of justice. It possibly would have been one of the most disappointing results of the season. But as it is, they've shown resilience to come back, and that can only be a positive thing. Two points lost. Two points lost. Yeah, should have uh, seen the seen the game out in the first half. Yeah, I mean we we've had plenty of chances, uh, but the positive thing is it's it's a point gained. Um, you know, it's two games undefeated now, so it's a step in the right direction. Uh, credit to St. Helens, you know, they come they come uh, and had a go with us in the second half. We took our foot off the, the gas in the first 10, 15 minutes of the second half. Um, but, you know, I've just said to the last day, the positive thing is, OK, we haven't been beat. It's two games we haven't been beat. We haven't been beat in November now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so I'm happy. I'm happy. Do you feel there's a little bit of uh, sloppiness at the start of the second half that they didn't quite work out? The well, we've, we've come out 
we'd come out uh, very flat for the first 10, 15 minutes. We never got a grip, we never got a, a grip of the ball uh, in certain areas. Um, I just thought we could have turned them a little bit better in the first 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but they done it to us, to be fair. Um, but you know, they put a corner in great delivery, great header. Um, you know, the, to credit to the lads, he's a bit of a uh, bit of a whole dude, shall we say? <laughs> Got a bit of experience, and it was a great finish. To be fair, a great header. Yeah, and Andy Olsen coming back to haunt you. Well, Andy can haunt me all he wants, uh, because I said to the lads, what Andy is good at is heading the ball. And I said to Andy, if you could just head the ball, mate, you'd be still here. <laughs> <laughs> no, again, you know, I, if I'm going to point the blame, mate, I'd, I'd say to me, keeper could have done a lot better. I'd have just had the words with him. Not being uh, over critical of him. He's only a young lad, but he'll learn. Uh, he's looking for a foul. I said, it's not a foul, just go and get the ball, mate. End of. Uh, but credit to Andy, he's popped up there, but that's what Andy's good at. Pleased the way he came back in the last couple of minutes, though. Well, again, you know, I've never ever questioned the lad's uh, character, and the character's come through again. You know, we've done it enough times last year where we've, you know, we seem to be losing a game of football, and then, you know, Coruscant took took a chance in there, and young Bucko again has come on, uh, and he's done himself no harm whatsoever. I've looked at him in two games in a couple of minutes, and he's done himself. So we'd be in the reckoning for there Saturday, to be fair. Got real fine in young James Buckley there. I think we've got a great find. Uh, I'm going to have a little word with the lad in a moment. Uh, but yeah, he, he, he's done himself no, no harm whatsoever. Uh, and again, it was a great finish off Steve Collis. You know, he took a chance and got in there. Uh, and to, on the night, you know, if you're if, if you looking at it, you, you know, even though I said it's the point stopped, if you like, probably analyse it when I think about it tomorrow, probably at a, at a a draw is a bad result in the end. Uh, Adam Farley at centre back, Dave, making his debut today. How do you think he did? Yeah, he's done okay. To be fair, Adam, again, you know, he hasn't he hasn't played football in two two, two and a half weeks, possibly three weeks, uh, and it's hard. It's a different level of football, you know. There's more at this level. You tend to get no time on the ball. Uh, the higher you go, you tend to get uh, times on the ball. Uh, but you know, I just said to him there, "Don't come to our league," and he said, "I know." But he hasn't played for three weeks, so but he's done okay. I was happy with him. Uh, you know, he's played with Jack, Jack Sinner at the side of him, so again, it's all new to him, it's new to Jack. But, you know, we'll just move on again. Well, congratulations on being unbeaten so far in November, and I hope it continues. It will. Jeez, well, where's that ale? <laughs> Still waiting for it. I'm telling you. Stewie, two on the trot, I'm after you, mate. That's the Blackpool manager. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Stephen Williams, AFC Liverpool captain, man of the match, Cheers. goal scorer. Congratulations Thanks on that. How do you think the team performed tonight? Uh, I thought the team done well. Um, good to go ahead. You know, the lads worked hard, especially from having the, uh, the game as well on the Saturday where we went to rest the time with maybe a bit tired legs. But lads played brilliant and, to be honest, a bit disappointed with the draw. I thought we could have gone on and win tonight, but made up we come from behind and got the equaliser. So, played well. Are you going in the right direction? That's two games unbeaten now. Yeah, two games unbeaten. Um, just got to progress from it now. Got to try and make it a bit more, uh, a bit more substantial at the back and make sure we don't make any silly mistakes. Going forward, I think we're really good. We're creating loads of chances. We get a couple more in the net, and I don't think, uh, I don't think we'll be off for long. Definitely when we start moving the table. So I'm pleased with the lads tonight. Really. Do you think you could have made a little bit more of it in the first half when you had complete domination? To be yeah, uh, I thought we had a lot of chances. Um, yeah, I can't. The last count how many it was, but I thought if we stuck another one or two away, I thought the game would have been over. But yeah, we did have a lot of chances in the first half, and that's kind of why I went with the wind. So in the week we try and get a few more. We never got as much as we wanted to, but I thought uh, you know we done we done well with the conditions as well, especially. So. I'm pleased to uh, claim the equaliser with the uh, yeah, the brilliant. Out. Can't, uh, can't fault the lads for you know continuing to the end. Absolutely, we made up with them. You know, we tried all the way to the end of it, so and we got our rewards for it. We got the equaliser, so I made up with them in that respect. Other times, other weeks, it might have just ended up staying two one and we'd have lost. But you know, it's, you can see it's changing because little things are going our way and we're working that little bit harder and it's making a difference. So I'm pleased with it. Brilliant. What's the atmosphere like in the dressing room at the minute? It's good, everyone's enjoying themselves. It's um, like I said tonight, a little bit disappointed, but overall, we've got a good little uh, good ethos about us and everyone's bouncing, so you know, we're going to move on. Brilliant. A lot of new faces taking time to gel together. Yeah, there is. There's a few more faces coming, and the team's getting stronger and stronger. Um, 
you know, players are coming in and you know they're making a difference. They are coming in and doing really well, and the team, like I said, is getting better and better each week. So once we start getting getting familiar with everyone in the positions, um, just going to build on that, and keep it going. Steve Carr is super sub tonight. Talk us through your goal. Yeah, it's just a great ball from uh, Bucko. Football was great. Seen it a few times in the first half, and just seeing the open space in the area. Ran through, the ball was on a tee for me, just put my left foot through it. Great substitution by Morsey, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, pleased by the way you came back then? Yeah, definitely. Um, I was devastated not to play on Saturday, to be honest, but um, injury sort of held me back and just ditching to get on today. The lads played well, we should have buried them in the first half, though it was there for the taking, but made up we called it back to get a point. Happy. How's it been this season? Uh, with the results not going your way? Do you know what? It, the lads aren't that, aren't that down about it because you can see it's there. I mean, the lads are putting the effort in and it's we're not taking chances. We're not, not getting the look at the door or anything like that. And it has been lapses of concentration that's in the end ruined us. From, and because we're not taking our chances early on, it's just killing us. But I think we're slowly getting there now. I think it's a time or we'll be turning the corner now. That'll be Positive about the yeah. future going forward. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <coughs> I think we'll uh, we'll start climbing the table now. I'm confident anyway.